What's going on everybody? Jeremy with Detroit Tech. Have you ever tried using a tool and realized it's just not getting the job done? So terrible as seen on TV intro aside, this computer has served me well. It was there at the beginning of this channel and it really got us through many 1080p videos. However, we've been uploading in 4K for a couple months and it's like seriously not cutting it. Like a five minute video and our videos are, you know, closer to 10 minutes usually, it takes over 20 minutes, 20 minutes for this thing to render that. Compare that to around, you know, seven minutes or something for uh, like a 1080p video. And when AMD announced their Ryzen 9 3950X CPU, there was no question in my mind that my next upgrade was gonna be that. Now, this isn't gonna be a full like new computer. I'm reusing a couple pieces of gear from this old guy here. If you wanna see a ridiculous full, full build with the 3950X, it costs over four grand, you can check out the video right here. That's Corey's new PC. Let's go over what we're using from the old computer. I'll still be using the graphics card, a uh, Zotac GTX 1070 Amp Extreme card. The EVGA Supernova NEX 750 watt power supply stays as well as the 32 gigabytes of RAM. The RAM is G-Skill Ripjaw V-Series DDR4 3200 speed with a cast latency of 16. I would like some faster RAM, especially for the Ryzen, but it just wasn't in the budget this time. The venerable Corsair Graphite 760T case stays as this isn't really a showpiece and I don't mind my render machine being stuck in like 2014. I'm also keeping a slew of hard drives, including some Samsung 850 Evo SSDs and varying sizes and a couple spinning drives for backup and like long-term storage. The new gear is what I'm extremely excited about. Of course, it's based around the 3950X from AMD. That's going into the Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Hero motherboard. This has the X570 chipset and supports PCIe Gen 4, which I'll be taking full advantage of with a one terabyte Corsair MP600 M.2 SSD. Cooling the 3950X is going to be the Liquid Freezer 2 by Arctic. I wasn't initially planning on changing the cooler, but fell in love with the simplicity and thick radiator. And since the AIO comes with its own fans that are just black with no lighting, which is like crazy, right? I got a couple Noctua NFA 14 140 millimeter fans to replace the red intake and exhaust fans on this bad boy. I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally be on the bleeding edge of the CPU market. Usually I'm like a year late. So let's get this beast up and running.
wasn't not terrible. We had a little issue with the RAM not being recognized. So uh, swapped in some RAM Corey was actually going to send back and it totally worked. So instead of 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaw RAM at 3200 speed, I have 64 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z Neo at 3600 speed with the same cast latency of 16. Not too shabby. Though the new RAM kind of ruined the whole subtle vibe I was going for, but hey, a little extra bling never really hurt anybody. Plus, I'm gonna make it red so the computer goes faster. So let's see how this thing performs, huh? If you're alive, I'm pretty sure you can guess it performed really, really good. We'll start with the games since this isn't necessarily aimed at gaming and I didn't get a new GPU. Interestingly enough, both Borderlands 3 and Rise of the Tomb Raider, the new computer, this, dropped by three frames per second in each game. I have zero explanation for that, but I think I'll be fine while I'm playing well. But what I'm really here for is Premiere. I'll put some numbers up here for you to take a look at. The big thing is looking at the reduction on our Premiere render. This is a five minute video rendered at 4K at 45 megabits per second. This 3950X freaking kicks butt. It rendered the video in a third of the time. That allows me to be way more productive and not just have to like, like sit here listening to fans run at full speed for a freaking hour. Basically every CPU based benchmark fared the same way. Cinebench R15 increased by 369% while R20 increased by 341%. The jump from say to three SSDs to PCIe Gen 4 is staggering as well, going from read speeds around about 500 megabytes to over four gigabytes per second. Insane. All in all, this build makes me extremely happy. My rendering time is lowered, even scrubbing around in Premiere, greatly improved with the amazing CPU and double the amount of RAM. Now, I just need Nvidia to come out with their 3080 Ti. Thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below, what's your next computer upgrade? We'll catch you in the next one. It goes like...